Hello, hi everyone. So in the last class, we have been discussed regarding two compartment open modal IV bolus. And in this class, let's discuss about repetitive intravenous injection, which is one compartment open modal. It comes under multiple dosage regimens. So when you consider normal dosage regimen, it will be applied only for a certain period of time. But for some drugs like antibiotics, when you consider for some drugs like antibiotics, what happens is it requires multiple doses. The antibiotics requires multiple doses. So during that time, what is the procedure for validating such type of injections we have to deal here? So in that, repetitive intravenous injection. So how we will give this repetitive intravenous injection and what is the derivation involved in it, let's discuss here. See, the maximum amount of the drug which is present in the body is following a single rapid intravenous injection, which is equal to the dose of the drug. Means nothing but whatever the dose of the drug which you have given, that is equal to the maximum amount of the drug in the body. When you give an injection through IV route, the maximum amount of the drug in the body will be equal to the initial dose of the drug which you have given. So it follows mainly first order kinetics. First order kinetics in that dB is equal to D naught exponential minus KT. Well, what is dB? The drug which is given into the body. D naught is the initial drug concentration. So amount of the drug which is given is equal to the initial drug concentration E power minus KT. KT. So K is means what? K is elimination of left constant. T is the time interval. So now here, how we have to calculate the T time interval is nothing but it is the dosage interval. The time between the first dose and the next dose is called as the dosage interval, which is denoted by a symbol called as lambda, which is denoted by a symbol called as lambda. So time is equal to lambda. So in this equation, dB is equal to D naught. It becomes, this equation becomes like this. See, dB is equal to D naught E minus K into lambda. So in that first equation, what is that? dB is equal to D naught into E power minus K T. T is the time interval. Here, time interval is nothing but the dosage interval, the gap between the first dose and the next dose that is called as lambda. So that is why the T is replaced by lambda. That is the second equation. And in the third equation, we have to calculate the fraction of the dose which is remaining in the body. The fraction of the dose which is remaining in the body, we have to calculate along with elimination constant. For that, the formula F is the fraction of dose is equal to dB by D naught. That is the drug given to the body by initial drug concentration is equal to E power minus K lambda. So with any given dose, the F fraction of the dose depends on K and lambda. That is fraction of dose depends on elimination of life and dosage interval. If lambda is large, then automatically the fraction of dose will be smaller because dB, the amount of the drug which is remaining in the body is smaller. That is the reason. You should consider is whenever F will be smaller, F whenever the lambda is large, automatically the fraction of dose will be smaller. Why? Why? Because dB is smaller. The drug remaining in the body is smaller. See, for this, the concentration of the drug, if you consider an example, the concentration of the drug always declines in the body one half after three hours. Means the concentration after giving the drug to the body, the concentration of the drug will decline to one half after every three hours. One half. Then after six hours, what it happens? After six hours, it will be declined to one quarter. That is 0 0.25 after six hours. So here we are giving multiple doses after every six hours. First dose will be given in the first, next dose will be given after six hours. That means what? 0 0.25 will be T of 
after six hours. So that is why here you can see here clearly we can uh, we can find out the value of the k from the tf. Tf is equal to what? First tf is three hours. The drug declines in the body after every three hours. So that is tf is that is tf will become three. That is what is the formula of k? K is 0 0.0.693 by tf. That is what 0 0.693 by tf means what? Here three. So 0 0.693 by three. Then it becomes 0 0.231 power inverse. So now we have to calculate fraction formula. Fraction of the dose formula is equal to E minus K lambda. What is K here? K is 0 0.231. What is lambda? How many? What is the dosage interval we are calculating? For every six hours, we are changing the dose. So the lambda becomes what? Lambda is the dose interval. That means what? Lambda will become six. So K is 0 0.231 and lambda is six. Then automatically we will get F is equal to 0 0.25 that is fraction of the dose remaining in the body after six hours is 0 0.25 that is why f is equal to 0 0.25 if you consider an example of the dose see if you take any drug dose and if you give it in the number of doses the first dose will be given when the first dose is given the drug concentration in the body is zero before giving the dose and after giving the dose it is 1000 mg so you are giving how much amount of the dose you are giving 1000 mg of the dose so that is why when you give this dose first before the dose there will be zero nothing will be there in the body but after giving it how much amount will be there 1000 mg will be there and next second dose in the second dose what happens fraction of the dose remaining in the body how much 0 0.25 0 0.25 means what 25 percent so in this thousand 25 percent is already there in your body that is thousand 25 percent means what 250 mg so 250 mg is there in the body during the second dose then now again you have to give thousand so when you give again thousand thousand plus already 250 mg is there in your body then it becomes 1250 so that is second dose next third dose in the next third dose what happens again f is equal to 0 0.25 means in this 1250 25 percent of the drug is already there in your body that means what 312 mg of the drug is already there in your body and when you give the third dose 1000 mg again then it becomes how much 1000 plus 312 1312 mg will be there in your body like that next dose next dose 25 percent will be there in your body and again when you give 1000 mg this 25 percent will be added to the 1000 mg and it will become the total value like that up to the last dose when you give here 1333 is the last dose and 333 is the drug which is remaining in your body this is also can be calculated this is also can be calculated by using a formula that is d max is equal to d naught by 1 minus f so d naught is what initial drug concentration initial drug concentration how much we have taken 1000 so 1000 by 1 minus f fraction of the dose how, what is the uh, value that is 0. 25. So 1000 by 1 minus 0 0.25 is equal to 1333 mg. This is the maximum dose. See, you can see here 1333 mg. It is clearly came out from the formula. And next, minimum dose can also be calculated by using a formula. So the minimum dose, you see D minimum is equal to 1333 minus what is the initial drug concentration? 1000. So 1333 minus 1000, it gives 333 mg. This is the minimum dose which is remaining in the body. You can calculate here. See, 333. So like that, we have to calculate by using the formulas, by using the example for this repetitive intravenous injection. And there are different formulas which we have to note down in the notes. These are the formulas C max, C minimum, C average, and AUC area under curve, and CP, uh, CP formula. We have to calculate all these formulas. We have to note down all these formulas. And uh, we have to calculate some problems with examples with these formulas. So this is about repetitive intravenous injection and with an example. Finding out the repetitive intravenous injection with an example. It is clearly given again. You see, simple. It is nothing but when you give repetitive intravenous injections, means one dose after another dose, one dose after another dose, automatically the maximum amount of the drug which is there in the body will be equal to the dose of the drug which is given. So the drug in the body is equal to the initial dose of the drug that is D naught into E power minus KT. So T is what? T is nothing but time interval. So time interval here we are giving multiple doses means what? So there is a time between the first dose and the next dose that is called as dosage interval. That 
dosage interval is denoted by a symbol called as lambda. So the T will become lambda in the second equation. And in the third equation, we are going for fraction of the dose. So fraction of the dose formula is dB by d naught. It is equal to E power minus kT. So fraction of the dose can be calculated by using elimination half-life constant that is k. So for every three hours, there will be decline in the track. That means what T of is equal to three. The formula is 0.693 by T of that is 0.693 that is nothing but 0.231 hour inverse. So we got k value in the formula that is 0.231. Next lambda, for how many hours we are changing the dose for six hours, so six. So it becomes 0.25 and the next one is exactly, you know very well. So thank you, this is about repetitive intravenous injection.